Medicare expansion has been in Idaho for the past five years. The voter approved measure is now in its review year. By law, the legislature is going to take a look at the program and see how it's performing. Well, from there, big decisions are going to be made this session if the program remains in effect. We heard from Republicans, Democrats, and group that pushed to get Medicaid expansion passed to set up the debate in the state house. And Joe Paris spoke to all of them. Lawmakers hit the ground running after the pomp and circumstance of the state of the state at the Idaho State House. Governor Little set the tone with his priorities, education, infrastructure, and property tax, to name a few. But lawmakers are ready to debate something that Governor Little didn't mention in his address, Medicaid expansion and funding. Now, Medicaid expansion was passed by Idaho voters in 2018, but per law, it is now up for review. In the Medicaid eligibility expansion law, a final section reads, quote, no later than January 31st in the 2023 legislative session, the Senate and House of Representatives Health and Welfare Committee shall review all fiscal health and other impacts of Medicaid eligibility expansion pursuant to this section and shall make a recommendation to the legislature as to whether such expansion should remain in effect. House Speaker Republican Mike Moyle expressed concerns in December heading into the 23 session about the cost of the program while speaking on KTVB's Viewpoint program. You're going to have some issues that people aren't talking about, too. Uh, Medicaid, for example. Medicaid expansion is up for review this year. Mm. Medicaid surpassed uh, public education school funding last year. We've got to get our hands around that, and so I'm hoping we can do some things there to, to stop that from breaking the state, basically. Setting up debate for the year, Speaker Moyle was asked about the review process at the State House. I wish I knew. I don't know yet. But I do know that we get a look at it from top to bottom. And I do think that that was put in the law for a good reason because, you know, it, it sounded really good when it got here. And it hasn't really performed on what we were sold. You know, the voters were told it was going to do certain things that it didn't do. So hopefully when they look at that, they can see where the variance was, what caused the variance, if there's a way to fix the variance. Um, you see that the health insurance exchange, for example, is going broke. All those people that would, some of which would like to stay on the exchange, are actually being forced into Medicaid. So maybe there's a way we can get some of those waivers and change some of that and push them back on to the private sector, which would be good for all of us. But ultimately, we've got to get the costs under control because if they keep skyrocketing like they are, we're all in trouble. I would hate to have to start cutting budgets and raising taxes for Medicaid expansion at the expense of our schools and everything else that the government provides for the citizens. Idaho Democrats responded minutes later. Senate Minority Leader, Democrat Melissa Wintrow, shared this thought. Uh, Representative Moyle speaking about that. Uh, Medicaid has been a, a wonderful investment in our state, and it has kept thousands of people healthy and on health insurance. And thank God we had Medicaid expansion when we did, especially during this pandemic. And we will not want to strip anyone of their health care, especially in this economy. And uh, so I hope to see that we renew that Medicaid. It has been a huge investment in our state. It has benefited all our population. And we need, as we know, health care, which is the foundation of any healthy community. Over 60% of Idaho voters approved of the program, and that's because they understood how badly the program was needed for the people of Idaho. Luke Mayville is co-founder of Reclaim Idaho, the organization that pushed for and succeeded in getting Medicaid expansion approved by voters in 2018. While Medicaid costs have gone up since the program started, Mayville says it's important to look at the funding share of that between Idaho and the federal government. This is one of the most fiscally responsible programs imaginable. Uh, when Idaho legislators keep saying that the budget is out of control, they are misleading the public because the truth is 90% uh, of the program is covered by new federal dollars coming into the state. And these legislators will mention that the program is costing $58 million, but they won't mention that that's only about 1% of the state budget. And they also always neglect to mention the savings that the program is generating. Still, some lawmakers say that growing costs could compromise spending in other areas, regardless of federal funding. Lawmakers will take the battle up in the coming days and weeks. So it'll be interesting to see what this review process looks like. Again, as you heard Speaker Moyle mention, we're not exactly sure exactly what that looks like right now. But Brian, uh, the health and welfare committees, they'll be looking at the numbers and they'll be looking at a lot of factors. We've also heard from some Idahoans that say we don't care if it's coming from federal tax dollars or state tax dollars. We don't like the way this is going. We've also heard from other Idahoans that literally have said this program has saved my life. So it'll be interesting to see when the numbers are crunched and we really get it all in front of a committee and we'll be able to watch that play out in public. The number is probably most important to a lot of people. How many voted for it back in 2018? Yeah, 60% of voters. Thanks, Joe. We'll be right back.